Hello everyone and welcome to a CFDs video. Normally on my channel I make a lot of silly content, montages, or just kind of random moments in a variety of games. But this one's going to be slightly different, it's more tutorial based because it seems to be a very well sought after thing in the way of Tall Tales in Sea of Thieves, and in particular the Shroudbreaker Tall Tale. Now I have other Shroudbreaker videos on my channel, not very tutorial based, it's basically just me and friends playing through it and having a good time, it doesn't really help people to step through them. I have a lot of comments on those videos saying how do I do this, how do I do that. So here is a tutorial, it's going to be very spoiler free and just a summary and I'll try to keep it under 10 minutes so it should very be a very good tutorial to help somebody get through if you are stuck. Now the Tall Tales are not super difficult, they are very fun to play and I highly recommend them especially as they're kind of new player friendly. So it's a great uh, intro into the life of Sea of Thieves. So let's jump into the Shroudbreaker. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to any outpost and you'll find the Mysterious Stranger. Next to the Mysterious Stranger is a Shroudbreaker Tall Tale startup thing there, where you have to vote for it, just like you would any other mission, right? So you're going to vote for it, you're going to have anybody in your crew vote for it. I would recommend an outpost near Crook's Hollow, just throwing that out there. So the Mysterious Stranger, well, once you start that up and vote for it, he's going to go through and read a bunch of stuff off. I'm going to skip it because, again, I want to make this as spoiler free as possible. So, uh, he's going to hand you a journal which you can find in your quests and your inventory. So in this journal is the voyage for the Shroudbreaker. Um, so skipping ahead on the journal, again, spoiler free as much as possible. Uh, it's going to give you a map at the end. Uh, so it's going to tell you there's an island between Crooked Masts and Crook's Hollow where something was dropped. So there you can see on the map, you're gonna to go to your ship, Crook's Hollow, Crooked Masts. Somewhere in the middle there is an island. So there you can kind of see the Crooked Masts and Crook's Hollow. So I'm gonna place a marker right there and we're gonna travel there. So we're traveling and it's this little tiny island uh, that you can see here. So again, this is the uh, pretty much the exact middle point of those two islands, Crooked Masts and Crook's Hollow. Uh, so we're just going to stop here. Uh, it's on the south side of the island you want to go to. Uh, you have to swim under the water and you're going to find, uh, I think it's on the south side of the island, but there is a sunken ship. Um, unfortunately I don't have the other side. There's two parts to this sunken ship, um, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm on the front part, but on the back part there is another journal. You just have to kind of swim a little bit farther around the island and you're going to find the second part of this sunken ship. Uh, and that is going to be a journal. Uh, so that's going to add more pages to the journal that you have. Go back into there and you're going to add the Magpie's Wing Ship's Log. So, spoiler alert, uh, if you want to not read these pages right here, feel free to just not read what's on the screen. Uh, but this is going to give you directions on where to head. So this is Chicken Isle that I'm flashing right there on the map. Chicken Isle is where we're going to head to. Um, so, uh, on the south side of that island, uh, so here I'm on the island, I'm on the south side, um, I'm heading towards the south side, there we go. I'm going to swim under the water and there's going to be a treasure chest. Uh, so there you can see a bright and shiny thing. Unfortunately it's storming out in Sea of Thieves right now, so it's a little harder to see. Um, but again, this is the south side of Chicken Isle go down and we're going to find a treasure chest here. Okay, taking that treasure chest back up to the ship. We're going to drop it down and open up that treasure chest and you are going to find a little totem and some more pages to your journal. So we're going to take that totem, we're going to keep that, we're going to put that on our shelf and we're going to save that for later for sure. We're going to definitely need that. So we got more pages on our journal. So we're going back into our quests. And we're going to continue to follow this magpie's wing uh, thing, so we're, don't, don't worry again about reading those. Uh, but that's going to take you to uh, Crook's Hollow. So these are the new pages. Um, so we're going to go back to Crook's Hollow, so we're not that far from it. So we're going to go to Crook's Hollow, and we're just going to go ahead and travel there. Um, and uh, feel free to have any shenanigans and stuff along the way. 
uh, do some emotes because uh, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be sailing quite a bit. Now, fortunately, a lot of this route breaker is all in one area, so it's not super far. You're not traveling across the the entire uh, the entire ocean. Um, so here we're coming up on Crooks Hollow. Uh, most of the stuff is below. You don't have to go up high. Uh, if you do go up high, there is a lot of skeletons and phantoms and stuff on this island, so uh, be forewarned. Uh, you do need to grab the totem once you are docked at Crooks Hollow. We're going to take our totem and we're going to take it uh, to a particular spot. So again, this totem has to be uh, has to be placed. So be sure not to forget that. And we're going to take it underneath. So the the book tells you, or the journal tells you, you're finding the tears of the island, which is that waterfall that you just saw. So we're going to place this totem right here. And again, we're in the, in the caves under the island, on the bottom part of the island. Place the totem right there, and again, look for the waterfall, come under the waterfall, and that's where this location is. Place the totem. You're going to find this little tomb in here uh, that's going to give you uh, these little torches that you need to light up. So you can light these up, and again, all this can be done by yourself or with a friend. Uh, it's a heck of a lot more fun with friends. So light those up. So I talked my buddy Matt through this. There we go, let's lighten those torches. And light the other torch. And this is gonna pop up, and this is gonna give us enter solution. Okay, so now in our journal, we've got all these little random calligraphy looking pictures right here, right? Uh, so we're gonna, you have to change these posts to match and just read it like a book. So the symbols are gonna match left to right on these posts right here. So once you get all four entered, this is, uh, our, oh, sorry, all three rows entered, uh, then you're going to enter the solutions. Now you, you do have a limited amount of time. You see the water filling up in the room. So you want to do it as quickly as possible. It can be done solo, a little bit easier with a second person. So once you pop that, the water will drain and it gives you a picture here in the tomb. So that tells you where you need to go. This first one is right outside the door here. There's a rock with a, uh, a symbol on it. It's right out here in front, and there's a medallion that you're gonna find right in front of this rock. Fortunately, it's right outside the tomb that we were just in, so super simple to find. And you gotta kill the skeleton. Skeletons will pop up once you find every medallion. So we're gonna grab this medallion, we're gonna take it back in the tomb, and we're gonna place it in the front of the tomb. Now the picture is going to change. So now we have our second picture. Now this one seems really confusing, uh, but really it's just the waterfall. So again, we're just going right outside the door and we're going to head to the right and the waterfall is right outside. So there's the waterfall. The medallion is right under the waterfall. I forgot where it was. I didn't even bother looking at the picture, um, but it's right under the waterfall where you see Matt, my, my, my friend Matt digging right there. So he just found the medallion. It's right under the waterfall in the sand or right there where he's standing. So we're going to grab that medallion and we're going to take it back to the tomb and hopefully not die by all the phantoms and stuff here. All right, so Matt's already placed it here. This is the third one. It's a little Easter Island head looking thing, which is on the top of the mountain uh, on this island. It's the very highest part of the island. Uh, so if you just go to the highest part, you'll see this up, up here. Again, there's a lot of skeletons and phantoms up here, up here so just be careful. Uh, so there's our medallion. We're gonna grab that and we're gonna run from all those skeletons that just popped up because I don't need to fight that many. So we're running. We're gonna take that back down to the tomb and we're gonna place our last medallion in the tomb. Okay, last medallion is placed. That's gonna flash and go away and then on the back side of the tomb, right there, that's gonna open up. There is the shroud breaker. We're gonna grab the shroud breaker and that's for the end. All right, so you're taking this uh, shroud breaker and you need to take it back to your ship. And there you go, you got your shroud breaker discovered. And uh, you're really just starting up uh, the sets of, of Tall Tales. So this is the good start for the Tall Tales. Getting this taken back. So you're gonna take it to the nearest outpost and take it back to the mysterious stranger. Drop it off to him, who's basically going to tell you a, a whole nother story that there's other missing parts. Um, but that's the start of the Shroud Breaker. 
Um, so I know that's confusing for some people, but there we go. All right, so I'm going to take this moment. Um, thank you very much for uh, for watching. Hopefully you learn and hopefully that steps you through how to do that Shroud Breaker. I'm not very good myself. Uh, I've been playing CFTs for a long time, but I take a lot of breaks. I won't play for like six months. I'll come back and do something. So I'm not ex entirely experienced, but the Shroud Breaker is, is overall pretty simple to do. Um, if you did learn something or this helped you out, feel free to uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. I definitely appreciate it. And uh, that is it for now. Again, thanks for watching. Later.